Hello guys, today's class three, our final class before the quarantine is over, hopefully. And we are going to talk about text speak. But what is text speak? Well, the first thing that you need to know is that it's related to technology. And everybody knows it well. But why text? Because it's related to message, right? Why speak? Because you write as you speak, okay? It makes it easier, such as these three examples that I wrote on the board, okay? And when we speak, we speak things in a shorter way, okay? So what would be LOL, an abbreviation for laughing out loud? What about BTW? Do you have any ideas? I'll help you with the first. By, by, by the way, very good. And the final one, FYI. I'll help you with the last one, okay? Information. Any ideas on how to complete this expression? For your information. Guys, okay? So now you know what text speak is. Actually, I don't even know if I knew before this class that there was a name for those expressions, but now you do. And all these text speaks and other examples are on page 30 of your books. Take a look. Okay? This is page 30. I don't have to show you there because I'm going to show you some other things, okay? You have a vocabulary related to technology. Okay? And then you have exercise number two, which is to underline the correct alternative to complete the meanings of the items of text speak. Okay? The first one was done for us. So here you have the text speak, and next to it you have the meaning. GTG, for example, is got to go. Okay? Two, BFN, for example, I'll help you with this one, is buy for now. Okay? And then you have to do from three to ten. Okay, let's see how much you know from text speak. When you finish this, you'll have a very famous exercise which is called multiple choice, okay? It's a reading exercise and you'll have to do it after you read the text on technology as well, which is digital detox. Do you have any idea of what detox means? Yes, to be out of the habit, right? An addiction, perfect. Why I pulled the plug on my family? This text is really important nowadays, and I'm pretty sure that your parents have been through this situation. Almost sure. Okay? So you'll have to do student's book page 30, you'll have to do student's book page 31, and you'll have to answer the questions about the text you read. Okay? From 1 to 6. It's basic comprehension. No problems. Did you understand? Perfect. Now well, let's move to the next thing we have to study today, which is adjective comparison. Okay? Uh, we raise. If you have any problems, you can text me or teacher Karina or send any messages in the Google Classroom. Okay? So, text pick is over. Let's talk about adjectives. Okay? Let me cross it out. Perfect. 30 and 32. So, the adjective comparison. Adjective. Comparison is on page 33 of your student's book, okay? So the student's book, page 33. It also needs to be done if you haven't done it, okay? So the first thing that you've learned, and almost all of you guys had this class with me when you were younger, is that we have how to compare adjectives in two ways, right? Comparative and superlative. As subcategories, we have the small or one syllable adjectives, right? And the two or more syllable adjectives, okay? Which are considered long adjectives, okay? The same with the superlative. One syllable adjectives or two or more syllables, okay? 
or, as I told you, the long ones. Okay? No problems. I'll give you an example. One syllable adjective, such as tall. Okay? Two or more. Beautiful. Okay? One syllable again. Tall. Two syllable adjective. Let's put a different one. Hungry. But also beautiful. What you need to know now is the difference between comparing adjectives in a comparative way and comparing them in a superlative way, okay? The comparative way is always when you compare one thing to another, okay? Or one group to another group, okay? The superlative is when you compare one to the rest, okay? So how can I use tall this way? Well, you all know Ana Paula, right? I can say that Ana Paula compared to me is tall, correct? So I'll say that Ana is taller than me. Okay? So what happens to the adjective tall? I add ER. Okay? No problems. Perfect. When I say beautiful, I can say that snakes, because I love snakes, are more beautiful than, than, oh my god, giraffes. I don't think giraffes are beautiful, okay? So let's put it this way. So, snakes are more beautiful than giraffes. Okay? So you see what happened to beautiful? More before. Okay? And that's what happens to long adjectives. But let's pay attention to the superlative and to hungry, which I'm going to use later in a comparative way. Well, when I compare one person to the rest, I can say that I am the shortest, or I am, which is the opposite of tall, the shortest here, okay? So let's use me as an example because short is also one syllable, okay? So I'm the shortest in Sia. So I'm comparing myself to the rest of the teachers and employees, okay? So I have to use EST. It happens to short, it happens to tall. Tall becomes tallest, okay? I can say that Ana Paula is the tallest person in SIA, okay? Or at SIA. No problems. Good, now let's talk about two syllable adjectives ending in Y, such as hungry, okay? I can say that my son is the hungriest person in my family, okay? So let's go. Let's change color so it's easier for you to see. Martin is the hungriest person in my family. What happens to hungry? Well, I have to cut the Y out and add I-E-S-T. Okay, what if I want to compare Martin to me? How can I use hunger in a comparative way? Well, I can say that Martin is hungrier than me. What happens to hungry? Well, I still cut the Y out and I add I-E-R. Okay, did you understand what you have to do? But the problem is that you guys are FC students. So these are not the only ways of comparing things, unfortunately. You would still have, let me erase what is done. How to compare things that are alike, okay? So I can say that, let me see. Teacher Mai, do you all know Teacher Mai? Okay, good. So, using Equal. Equality. Okay? So, teacher my Teacher my 
is as short as me. Okay, so we're both kind of the same height, okay? And that's how I compare things that are equal, okay? So as, adjective, it doesn't change, plus as, okay? No problems, good, now let's continue. Can I erase this? You have already taken notes of it, right? Good, so. Bye-bye, guys.